Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the mathematics previous year papers. Today we will discuss all those quadratic form equations which were asked in the CSA net 2020. So let's firstly quickly see what are those questions. There are the three questions asked that this is the part B is of the three marks which you have to find which of the following statement is true. Then second question is again of that you have to find the, which one of the positive definites and which one is satisfy this non-trivial conditions are there. So all of these three questions are related to this quadratic form. How you can solve such quadratic form with the help of the shortcut tricks? So let's see uh, in this uh, video. So what is given to you? This is the quadratic, real quadratic form. What is the nature of the quadratic form is? It's a positive definite, negative definite. It is not given to you. It means you can take any of these quadratic forms. So let I consider this as say x square plus y square plus z square or you may consider a simple as a x square or you may simple consider as a x y so let's see which one option is discard so if i just consider the first case like here if i just consider as only of this one that is y and z are my zero so can you say that left hand side and right hand side are equal no because left hand side is my x1 plus x2 square while the right hand side is my here which is not equal it means this option is discard similarly if you look about the second uh, second uh, case x1 plus x2 in this case left hand side will be my here plus x1 minus x2 square okay, r is equal to the 2x1 square plus of the 2x2 square yes it, it is true because if you consider as a 2 of ab here is a 2ab cancel out so it's a twice of x1 square here if you consider like this for, because it is a true for one particular example is it true for the others are also so you can see that here what is that x y this is nothing but my x1 x2 and y1 plus y2 similarly plus x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 what is the right hand side corresponding to this that is my 2 x1 y1 and 2 x2 y2 again you can see that is true because whenever x1 y2 is there so you can say x1 y2 that will be a cancel out x2 y1 is a cancel out x2 y2 x2 y2 that's a twice so all these problem they are true similarly if you look about this problem this is for at least one pair now they are the positive signs again if i consider this value what is happening here only for this value left hand side is my x1 square plus x2 square plus 2 x1 x2 while for the right hand square is my x1 square plus x2 square so is it true for at least one pair yeah you can consider that if you consider as x2 as a zero while x1 y1 x2 y2 all, all others are maybe of anything then you can see that this pair are at least one pair are equal so this is the right option look at this one it is not true because you can see it's a double of this double of this if you consider this as of here if you put up as a double it will not be true it is true only for here so it means this option is cancelled out so the right answers are my b and c look at the next example are there so this is related to the positive definite so what is the meaning of the positive definite is you have to consider the all those pairs of the x and y from the r2 such that your this quadratic form is always be greater than zero so like here you can't say that it is always be greater than zero why because if you consider x as a minus one y as a positive it will not be greater than zero so it means this option is not true similarly uh, all the other pair uh, it is not an easy task if if i consider here then it is always be greater than zero since due to the presence of this term it may or may not be so what is the rule behind that how you can do that what is the size of this how many variables are there two so it's a two cross two so you have to compute this value x with respect to x x with respect to y y with respect to x y with respect that's a partial derivative so let's try to find this one and then you have to find the first de first determinant fxx second determinant is here if both values are my greater than zero then it is a positive definite otherwise not and if first value is less than zero second value is greater than zero then we call as the negative definites so let's do for this first example we already see that it's not be there look at this pair what is the second derivative of this with respect to x it's a two x with respect to y is nothing but my minus 1 this is minus 1 this is my plus of 2 so what is the first principal minor that is a 2 which is a greater than 0 what is the second is it's a 4 it's a minus 1 it's a 3 which is a greater than 0 so this is the right answer 
look at about the third case what is the matrix is if i just uh, find the second derivative quickly so this will be here what is the first determinant is my 2 second determinant is my 0 but we need a strictly greater than 0 so that is not be true similarly look at about the this case this value is my 2 this is my 1 this is my 1 this is my 0 so the first minor is my 2 second one is my minus of 1 which is again not true so the right answer is only b if this if they are asking about the positive semi-definite, what is the meaning of the semi-definite? It means the d2 will be a greater than or equal to 0. Then in that case, this value is the right answer. If you look about this case, again you can draw this one, like the double derivative is 0, 1, 1, 0. So what is the d1 is my 0, d2 is my negative, so which is again not with the positive definite. So the right answer is only b. Now look at the last question, a quadratic form, this represents that 0 non-trivial if there exists a pair ABC which is, uh, which is non-zero non such that Q of ABC is 0, which of the following represents this property. What is the meaning of that? Uh, from this uh, space XYZ, you have to think about the one pair called as the ABC such that whenever you substitute here, it will be becomes a 0. For example, if I just consider as x is 1, y is minus 1, z is say 1, clearly says that it is a non-zero. So if I substitute this value in the first equation, it becomes a 0. It means that this is the right answer. But, uh, but it's not an easy task for you to check uh, all this in a quickly manner. So what you can do is, again we will do the same trick. This is now, it's a 3 cross 3, so xyz pairs are there, this is the xyz. Now we have to define the fxx, xy, xz, fyx, yy, yz and then zx, zy and zz I call as a matrix D. I compute it as a first matrix fxx, second is the determinant of this fxx, fxy, fyx and fyy that is a, these four elements and the D3 is the complete. Since I need at least of the 0, so if now if any of one is get a 0 value, if any of one will get a 0 value, we will get the right answers. So look at that, if I consider the first matrix, what is that? If I consider the second derivative, it's a 0, second xy is 0, this is the x with respect to z is 0. Now it's, a, it's always been a symmetric matrix, so firstly you have to write the diagonal entries and then 0 is a 1 xy is my 1, this is 1, xz is 0, 0 and 0. So what is the d1? That's the first element is 0, second element is my 0, minus 1, third element is my, uh, what is the determinant of this? That's my 2. That is since at least one of the element is 0, so that's the right answer. Look at that another option for the second, you have to draw that. Firstly, you can write the diagonals, that is a 2 times, 2 times minus 4. What is the, this is the xy. Is there any coefficient of the xy? No. xz. Is there any coefficient? No. yz is no. So what is the first one is my 2, second one is my 12, third one is my minus of 20, 48. None of them is 0, so this option is discard. Look at the third case is x square, that's a 2, y square, z square. This is the xy, coefficient of the xy is 1, this is yx. This is the xz, there is no coefficient of the xz. This is yz here. So what is the first value is my 2, second value is my 4, minus 1 is 3, third value is my determinant is my 8, none of value is 0, so this option is discard. Look at the last case, if you draw this value, x, y, sorry, x is my 2, y is my 0, z square is my 2, this is the x, y, this is the 1, this is 1, y, z is 0, and here. So what is the first value is my 2, second value is my 0 minus 1, third value is my 0. So since at least one value is 0, so it means this option is also true. So the right answers are my A and D are the right answers. So you can see in both the, both the questions, you can see for this and this, you have to draw this matrix and then find its values. So I hope you can learn simple tricks behind this one. We will see some more questions related to the real analysis, complex analysis in our next videos. Till then, best of luck students. Happy learning.